Hey guys, welcome back to my tutorial. I hope you guys are doing great today. Um, we'll get right into it. So basically, what we're gonna do with this tutorial is create our shader and and the and the class that manages those shaders. But before I do that, I realized I also had to do a matrix class. We'll do a simple one. So if if you go back to your math core, real quick, we'll create a simple matrix class. I want to define the um, a value that will be the size of the array for a matrix. It's a four by four, so but like size array, so we don't have to like put four in everything. So it'll it'll be much easier. I think so. I don't know. So we're gonna create a class. We're gonna create a four by four matrix. So I don't know whatever you guys want to call it. Remember the semicolon, because stay on that. <clears throat> okay, so public, create a constructor and destructors for it. We can uh, create some functions for these, which we can have a getter and a setter for these. Int row and call. Well, you could put call, but call means like column or something. It's going to be for short. Um, and we can have a set that will set those values for us. Oh, and, <clears throat> and the last parameter that will set the value for that row and column. You know, I should keep my stuff consistent, you know. I write like P. You know, just so I could be consistent on this class. I'll do it that way. And we can have one that will set the identity. A really simple matrix class. We're not gonna go all like depth and everything. And our last one that will convert this matrix to an array. a private which will be our float m matrix of size array size array so that'll be that for, for that'll be it for that so we'll go to a cpp file and we can create a do the constructor for this. Make sure every time you create one, we will set the identity of it. You don't want it all on to be zeros. We have not created that class, I mean that function yet, but we will. Okay, a destructor. I realized I didn't do the destructors for the other ones. Which I should do because it's gonna cry later. Uh, did I create a construct and destructors for these? No, I didn't. Let's create them real quick. And there's one small thing that I want to fix. I forgot to do it in another one. I actually realized that I did something wrong in my rectangle class. So we'll fix it after we finish the matrix. So let's create the destructors for these because it's going to cry later if I create a pointer to this or something. So might as well fix it now. Okay. So I have that. Make sure you separate them to know exactly Vector two. Okay, so what was our next function? I forgot what was our next function. I think it was the set, right? The set and getter functions that we can do for this um, matrix. Was well, a float 
matrix get int row int column. We can um you know what I don't think I have it here, do I? No, I don't. It's just a debug thing. It's a good thing to have in case you mess up or something. You want to include a, a header function called assert. And you want to, yes, it's just the debug. Yeah, you want to make sure the row that you pass in is greater or equal to zero, and the row is less than the size or array. You want to go beyond that. Basically, this is like an if statement, whatever, but it actually breaks and creates a window for you to know that it actually broke on you or something. And it will only pass if it's true. If it, if it goes false, like it should. Like normally, like if statement does, then it does something else. And what this does is it breaks the program and it tells you what's the issue, you know? And you want to do the same thing for the other one. Make sure it's greater or equal to zero. And it's less than the size of the array. Just make sure you do that. And once that works, then you want to return of row and column or call. Now we are to create our our set function int row int call. Basically, how this matrix could be laid out, um, it's gonna be in row major. So I know OpenGL takes column major, so we'll transpose it later. Or if you want to go ahead and do a column major, right? Uh, then go ahead. I'm not stopping you. And inside of here, we also can do the same thing here with the, aster the asterisks or assert, or whatever you want to call it. I don't know how to pronounce that. And you want to make sure that then you want to set that array to equal that. To equal the value. As array. Basically, all you're gonna do was a pointer. It's just simple, just return, cast it as a float pointer, and you return the matrix. That's simple kind of thing you gotta do. And our last function that we can create is our send identity. Set identity. And what do you want to do in here? You want to mem set the entire array to zero. If I know where exactly this mem set is located. Well, I want to make sure where mem set is located. I don't know. Where mem set be located? Memory? Well, don't copy me, I'll let you, we'll see if it works. Yeah, there we go. So you include the memory, the H, to get the mem set that we can need. And basically what you wanna do is just set the entire rate to zero. Set it to zero and be the size of float times the size of the array times the size of the array. 16, because this is four, so four times four is 16, and array, I mean, in the matrix contains 16 values, so. So now what you wanna do is 
this m matrix of 0, 0 equals 1. And you want to do that four times. So make sure 1, 1, 2, 2, 3, 3. There you go. That's right, so your ascent identity. I guess that's all the functions we created right now. Make sure it works because the last time it did not want to work. It's not my fault. Is, was that it? So the matrix gets set, yeah. So close those off. 